Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. Um, in this video, let's talk about, you guys have been asking me, I, it's so hard, I can't decide whether to get the Mill City Roaster uh, one kilo or the Alio Bullet. So um, without any like previous research and anything like that, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Um, I don't have an Alio Bullet. I do have a Mill City Roaster. I went from a hot top, the um, 2K Plus, to the Mill City Roaster, and I did look at the Alia Bullet. So I do feel that I am semi-qualified <laughs> without having the two machines running side by side uh, to give a, an opinion on this, and hopefully it will help you make a decision. So let's get into it. So first, um, let's talk about the Alio bullet um 2800 bucks way cheaper so the cost you know i'm sure that's why you guys are going back and forth and maybe asking yourself is it worth freaking seven thousand dollars and it ends up being like eight thousand dollars uh if you go with the venting kit seven thousand plus because you have to factor in uh your vent system whether you do it your uh yourself like how i did it and then i ended up buying the vent kit which the only reason I bought the vent kit was because I thought we were gonna stay in this home and I was like dude I want a closed system meaning I want to not push my cart my roaster outside of my garage and roast that way and vent that way I want to be hidden I don't want everybody to know all my business like today um, I had two neighbors come in and talk to me um, while I was roasting. And while I don't mind talking to my neighbors, uh, my neighbors are really dope, I, I can't do two things at once. I'm not that skilled yet. I can't roast and uh, have a, have a um, semi-conversation, uh, <laughs> which I'm like, I'm, I'm halfway in on, on each thing. I can't do that. So I, I need to be very focused. So that's the only reason why I upgraded the vent system, but then my husband was like, you know what, let's get the <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I want to go back to Orange County. So now it's like, um, let me give you the reasons why I didn't pick the Alio. Maybe that's better. I'm not going to give you like a, a play by play um, thing, but I'm just going to bring up their website to remind me why I didn't pick the Alio and why I did pick the Mill City Roaster. So this is when I knew I was outgrowing my little hot top and it took me four batches to make a pound and I was like dude and then it takes like 15, 20 uh, 12 to 15 minutes to you know get to the right temperature and make sure everything is good to do the batch right it's not it's not not an exact timing so it would take me an hour plus um being glued to that machine trying to make sure that everything was right. So I was like, dude, I'm going to grow out of this. I feel like I'm not quite at the like three kilogram level where I have wholesale customers or something like that. Because I believe in order to produce for a wholesale, um, and again, this is, this is all depending on how much you contract with somebody or something like that, how much coffee you want to sell to people. But I think three kilograms is a little bit better in terms of efficiency um if if you're small scale like I am but I was like I'm not there yet and I really I just not I'm not confident yet right um but I was confident to take the step into a one kilo first of all I had to figure out what size I wanted to upgrade to and after watching tired eyes he's a great channel I think the um the channel is now called coffee under pressure um that creator his name is Tyler um but now I know him as tired eyes but anyway he was roasting on a one kilo Mill City roaster and that when I first saw that this was like right when I got the hot top I was like dude I want that one because I love the way it looked it was basically how a professional looking roaster looked with the cooling tray and the choo-choo train funnel and uh, the trier and everything all the bells and whistles about it just miniature and I was like I want that one you know it was really important for me um, aesthetics is always important for me um, I wanted the trier I wanted the cooling tray because I knew from doing all my research that cooling the coffee down quickly after dropping was very important um, in order for 
a full developed cup and not not messing it up, you know. And I was like, dude, got to have a cooling tray because that's the reason why I picked the hot top, you know, out of all the little home roaster systems, air uh, popcorn, uh, what do you call it? Air popper, like convection, um, the Baymore. There was no cooling tray. There was all these funky little ways that you had to cool the coffee. And I was like, I'm not down with that. If I'm going to do this, I want to do it as best as I can or the best that money can buy. Um, because honestly, just, we could afford it. You know what I mean? And I think that's going to be a big marker for you guys making your decision. Like, what can you afford? You know, if you don't have a straight up like business plan that you know that you're going to make a return on this money, like it's an expense and, but you have to be willing to afford this very expensive hobby. To me, it's just an expensive hobby. And that's okay. Like, you don't feel bad about it. Like, I had trouble with that, feeling bad about my expensive hobby. But it was like, dude, I don't, (laughs) I, I don't do anything else. You know what I mean? So, uh, for me to have this expensive hobby and and possibly turn it into a business, I was able to get my husband on board to, um, to to for both of us. Because if you're married, you should make all of your financial decisions together uh, to feel comfortable, right? And guilt free about this purchase. Because it's a big chunk of money, seven grand at, at first, right? So we put it on a credit card that had rewards on it. So we just did the best that we could in terms of paying for it. Like, let's not pay it all in one, one lump sum. Let's try to get some rewards back for it for this huge purchase. Um, this is a long-term passion. Um, I was confident that I was not just going to grow out of it in a year or so, that I was going to be committed to this uh, art and craft for the long term uh, till I'm very, very old. You know, I could see myself roasting till I'm very, very old. So, yeah, so that was a big, I think, uh, marker in making my decision for the for the Mill City. So we covered the cooling tray, right? Because I'm looking at the Alio bullet and it looks like, I mean, it looks like there is a, let me, let me make sure that I'm reading this correctly. There's no like cooling arms, rotating arms to make sure that all the coffee is rotating and being cooled um, consistently. But um, it looks like there's probably a fan that goes in there and sucks the heat from the beans, but there's no agitation of the beans in the cooling tray. So right away, there is a... Uh, discrepancy in how the beans are going to be cooled and it won't be as consistent as possible. And I remember seeing somebody with it, like a like a version one alio bullet and the smoke was just going everywhere. And in my experience, smoke is really <laughs> just detrimental. It's so irritating. Um, and you'll have to do this outside and you'll have to create some kind of funneling or you'll have to sit this on a table and maybe sit outside and do it. Um, but there's no, it doesn't look like there's any funneling action. And um, when I was deciding and when I was looking at the Alio, it has a try or two, that's cool. And it has a little drop door and everything. I just still didn't feel that the look of it too didn't really appeal to me. It didn't look like it was getting close to a drum roaster. You know what I'm, what I'm used to. This thing is electric, right? Um, I really wanted gas because in my research, ah, in my research, I really wanted a use of natural gas or propane, have be used for propane because I, I researched that um, if you're using gas and propane, you're going to have the responsiveness of that. So when you need heat, you get heat. You don't wait for however many minutes or there's no, there's no real like crazy delay that you get with an electronic a uh, heat source or like a heat coil that heats up and stuff, um, which is what the hot top had. So I definitely knew I wanted to upgrade to a big boy system or a system that was the most translatable to a big roaster, to a big boy roaster, to like a three and up. And the way that Mill City has created this one kilo, it really puts you on that track to graduate towards a bigger, larger machine um, when you're just making very minute sort of translations or parallels from this one kilo to, say, 26 kilos or something like this, right? Like a big big boy machine. So that really intrigued me. I really wanted a future with coffee roasting and to be able to roast on a huge machine. Um, 
and that's a big reason why I chose Mill City. So I'm thinking about my future in this industry, in this craft. I'm taking my sweet time <laughs> learning it, um, doing it on the side as a hobby, not taking anything too seriously, but dreaming and fantasizing of a business run by coffee where I get to every day roast or something or be involved in coffee. That's has been my hidden dream. I'm not a great dreamer. I'm not a very vocal dreamer. I'm a very grounded in reality. Like this is what my reality is. So this is what it is. And this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm still exercising my dreamer muscle and coffee is allowing me to do that. And the fact that we have another successful business, uh, is just, it's kind of like a nice way of letting me, um, uh, exercise that muscle. Because otherwise, my, my, my mind is sort of too rooted in reality, and I'm not a very good dreamer, you know. Um, yeah. So that's another reason why I chose it. I know it's, it's designed in Denmark and then built in, in Asia or Taiwan. And nothing against Taiwan, but I was just like, I don't like that. I don't like that the communication may be off in terms of service. Um, I want to speak to somebody who's American um, who isn't too off course on the, um, um, on the language, on the timing, like on the, somebody who's not too like far away on the time zones and Mill City, I've just grown so accustomed to them. The content that they put out is continuous, um, reliable, trustworthy. Um, the service that they have is really great, impeccable. Um, if you guys followed my, a journey to, to upgrading our roaster series in the in the channel, you'll see that there was a huge problem with um, shipping and just getting it from like Ontario to here was such a, a headache. And um, the service from their third party delivery people was really terrible. And um, I had made that aware to Mill City and, um, you know, they were respectful, responsible, um, responded in kind and just, you know, I felt I felt taken care of when something went wrong. You know, you're spent you spent so much, and even if you get the Alia Bullet and you're spending twenty eight hundred bucks, that's that's not cheap either. You know, like anything over like five hundred dollars, I'm pretty I'm pretty like well, any I mean, I, I want to know where my money's going. So like anything over twenty bucks, I'm like, where is it? <laughs> I just felt the customer service was impeccable. Um, and even, you know, I'm beta testing Rose Path and I'm building relationships with, semi-relationships with Steve, um, Nick over there. Um, not so much Derek, but I watch Derek a lot, right? So like, I feel like I have a relationship with this company, um, a good working relationship in that I, I trust them as a manufacturer and as a um, company of customer service. Like they're going to be there for me when I have a serious problem. Um, so yeah, that's a big thing too. Like I, I want to know that after I buy it, that there's support for this thing because I'm here for the long game. Requires a personal computer to roast um, with the, uh, with the Mill City roaster. I can roast without a computer. Sometimes um, something wonky went wrong with like, say, um, Artisan back in the day when I used to use that. I use Roast Path now, which is by Mill City Roasters. Um, it's fantastic. Check it out. It's basic. It's a roasting software, but it's, it's, it's very high tech. It's very intuitive. It's beautiful, beautiful software, and it's free. You cannot beat that, all right? Um, I'm not sure if it's made exclusively for Mill City Roaster models. Um, I'd have to double check that. You know, leave it in the comments if you know, um, or I'll, I'll put an update or something in the description um, clarifying this. But um, with this Alia Bullet, it looks like you have to have a computer to actually roast stuff. Um, but uh, with the Mill City, I can roast without software again i'll be a little bit blind but i can do it without it like you can do everything from that um from the console from the operating console if you've got it down if you're a master like that um shipping was relatively it was not bad it was i think it was about four to five hundred dollars to ship the mill city roaster here 
um, and it came in a big wooden crate. Again, check out the series. It's very detailed about that, um, the whole process, if you're thinking about getting the Mill City Roaster. So they call this a 1 kg personal slash sample true drum roaster. Um, I wonder why they say true. Also, it doesn't look very heavy. The weight is 21 kilograms. That's not heavy at all. That thing down there is freaking heavy. I mean, my um, my husband was able to move it onto the table. It looked pretty easy for him, but he's kind of a strong guy. So, but I know I couldn't have done that. I'm like five one hundred. 35 pounds like I can't do that so um you'll need help you know and everything but it's a beast um it's super heavy it's super heavy duty um the way that it's made the construction of it it just all seems very professional you know what I mean I think for me I've laid out the key things why I chose Mill City over the Alio let you know to run by it again it was one capacity I wanted one kilogram I knew Anything less or anything more just wasn't going to fit me and my goals for the next, I'd say, three to five years. You know, maybe three to five years, something like that. I don't know, you know. And again, I'm, I'm so new at this that I was like, I just don't feel confident going any bigger. Um, but I am really tired of anything smaller. So um, I could do a pound or two pounds of coffee at least, somewhere around there. Um, in about 15 minutes, right? Once you get preheated and all that stuff. Um, another thing was the cost. Yes, there was a, a big drastic difference in cost, but I was thinking long-term. Um, we could afford it, you know? Um, I wanted to make, I do want to make a business out of it, although I'm not as gung-ho about that. I'm, I'm taking my time with it. I'm learning, learning, learning so much, um, as much as I can fit without it interfering with our original business. I'm still passionate about our original business and what I do there. It was something I'm passionate about, so I wanted a machine that reflected my passion. I wanted the best. I wanted the best one. Um, Alio just seemed like, yeah, that's cool, um, it's a lot cheaper, and it looks like and feels like I'm settling, and I want the best one. You know? I, feel, I feel like I almost felt like I deserved it in a way. And in, in all the things in all my life, if you want to get real deep with it, I felt like I deserved this one kilogram, seven to $8,000 toy, basically, right, to learn on and grow on, um, if I'm being honest. Uh, another thing, customer service was in America. I'm in California. They're in Minneapolis. A bunch of content on YouTube where I can feel like I can trust them have a, and I have a relationship with them. The way that they build their machine is professional, um, that you can run a very small business with it, um, which really appealed to me, an entrepreneur already. Whatever I was going to learn with this machine, I could translate it to even a different brand probably, um, but to a larger machine because the way that the machine is set up, run on propane or, or gas, right? A big drum roaster, double walled, trier, cooling tray. The whole, the whole design of it is translatable to what commercial coffee roasting is um, for the most part. Not, you know, one-to-one -one matching up everything probably, but for the most part, it was really translatable. There was a really um, solid parallel between this one kg and say 26 kg. Those are my big things why I chose Mill City Roasters and throughout it all, now they have their own roasting software. I'm so happy with my roaster. My roaster's name is Nugget because it's small, but it's powerful and I love it. I love doing it. Um, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm not a big dreamer, but I'm so happy that in that instance when I made this decision to go with Mill City to give myself the best, that, that I, at that time where I don't do that a lot, I did it then. So I'm really happy there. And um, yeah, uh, I hope that helps you with your decision making in terms of choosing between whatever other roaster and a Mill City roaster because that's my honest and true experience. Um, I've tried to give you a honest account. 
if I haven't covered anything about the logistics of, say, going with a Mill City Roaster, I'd say check out that um, that series that I did when I was upgrading the roaster and going through the whole process of ordering and everything like that. Check that out. Uh, but otherwise, I hope that helps. Okay, links and stuff in the description. Leave me your questions and comments in the comments. See you next time. Bye. If you want to support the channel and if you want to support me as a creator um, and as a small roaster, uh, you can check out blackcitycoffee.com. Support the channel. Leave this video a like. Subscribe. Share it. Check out our coffee on Etsy. And um, appreciate you guys. Okay. See you next time. Bye.